Hi there folks, Cameron Hansen here with Lean Strategies International LLC with another quick tip for you this week. Now, as everyone starts to transition to the online world, a lot of formulas are going to be important to know how to do. And one of the important formulas that I use quite often is efficiency. Now, you can see right here on the Lean and Six Sigma glossary, where we post all of our terms on Lean Strategies International LLC, efficiency is defined as the ratio of actual work done, or the output, compared to a standard, or the output expected. So how do we calculate that? Well, let's look at our uh, Google Sheet here with our formulas, and let's set up a simple way to calculate efficiency. Now, as you know, Google Sheets is part of the G Suite platform, and if you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a link for it in the description below, and also a coupon so you can get 20% off if you decide to sign up. Now, you can calculate efficiency in numbers or in Excel on a lot of different software, but we choose to use Google uh, G Suite because it just works really well very good for interaction, really speeds up the information flow. So let's jump into this calculation of efficiency. Now, seeing as we want to stick with uh, an efficient platform, the first formula we're going to set up is just our calculation number. And you can see I've already put it in there. Uh, it's an if statement like we use a lot of times. So if B2 is empty with our double quotes, then we want it to return empty. Now, if it's not empty, we want to return the row number minus one. Now, what is this going to do? Well, it's simply just going to automate the process of putting our number one in there. In case you're looking at multiple calculations, you don't have to go in and drag and drop or copy and paste or one, two, three, four. So a lot easier to just automate that portion. So let's say we have our actual work done and our standard is going to be something like eight. <clears throat> now we want our efficiency formula to just pop up. So how do we do this? Well, efficiency is calculated uh, a pretty, pretty simple way. It's, it's actually a very basic formula that we can use. Um, and it's really just your actual work done divided by that standard. Okay, some people we'll call it standard hours produced divided by the hours actually worked. And most of the time it's a percentage, so we're gonna format ours to be a percentage also. So let's go ahead and do that here real quick. So the first thing we need to do is use our trusty if formula, equal sign if, open bracket, and let's say B2 again is blank, so equal sign blank, then we want to return a blank. And that way we don't just get a bunch of random numbers showing up um, because all the data isn't in there. Now, if it isn't blank, okay, then we want to go ahead and move forward with calculating our efficiency. And that would be done actually with an if error formula. And the reason is if you only have one piece of data, you're gonna get a uh, error on your division. And we don't want those div errors all over the paper. So what we're going to do is hit if error, open bracket. And it's going to say if there's no error. So what we're going to want to do is divide B2 divided by 8. And that'll give us our 50%. And if there is an error, we just want to return it blank. And so we'll hit enter. And we see that that is automated right there. Now we'll copy this first one, just grab the whole row here, or the whole column, I'm sorry, and we'll paste it, and then we'll just put this back in here. And now, if we go ahead and come back, we can say, let's say our efficiency or our hours produce, our standard hours produce was something like 180. And we get two, no div error, because we set that up in the formula. And then we get 200 on our hours actually worked. And that gives us our 90% efficiency rate. So an automated uh, formula here to calculate efficiency. Now as a reminder, efficiency is simply 
the ratio of actual work done or your output compared to a standard. So that's how you calculate efficiency. Now click the subscribe button below and we'll be posting more continuous improvement formulas for your transition to working at home or to speeding up that information flow. Also, if you have any questions about formulas, go ahead and leave them in the comments uh, section below and we'll get back to them as soon as we can. Thanks again for watching and we wish you all the best. Stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.